Good morning, everybody. I'm Sarah, the Real Simple Mama. I am so, so, so excited to do this review video of our new Chicken Coop Solar Panel Fan Kit. So while I'm in the air conditioning, before we assemble this and show you what it looks like in action, we have powered it on and I wanted to give you a few observations, good and bad about this kit. Yes, this is an affiliate video. I was given this product for free from Enkoi to review, but I'm always going to tell you the truth. So. As far as observations, now you can use this with a chicken coop, you can use it with a shed, with a greenhouse. We are undecided on where we're going to put it, honestly, because while this kit does come with three fans, which is fantastic, haha, <laughs> get it? The problem is, is that they are wired really close together, which I'll show you once we spread everything out. Now, I got permission from my contact at Enkway that I can cut the fans and then rewire them but essentially they all have to be within like two feet of each other which doesn't work for us like with a lot of prefab coops because i just don't have that much window space so that kind of doesn't really work that well so what you're looking at this is what they call the governor this is sort of like a capacitor that's going to decide if i want the fans on full power or if i want to crank that down a little bit Another thing that I really like about this kit is that they come with these guards that you put on either side of the fan, and that's to make sure, number one, we're not getting as much debris going through it, but also to prevent injury, whether it's of a child or it's of your chicken or a mouse or whatever the case may be. So um, it also was kind of unusual for me to have three fans in this kit, which I think is really nice. Most kits that I see, it only comes with one. So you cut, you get the three square fans, you get the governor, you get the guards, of course the instructions, and then you get the solar panel, which is this entire piece, of course it's upside down, um, and then you get the mounting hardware. The other thing that I will point out about this, and this is um, the other reason that we're trying to decide how to set this up, if you've watched my old, old videos, they're, gosh, two or three years old now, about the solar fan build that we made, we, and by we, I mean mostly real simple dad, Frankensteined um, a car battery and some other things together. This kit is nice and simple, but it doesn't have a battery. What does that mean? That means two things. And because we've tested it, I'm gonna kind of spoil a little bit here and explain it to you while it's in the box. So what that means is that when the solar panel is getting light, the fans are running. If the solar panel is not getting light, the fans are not running. There is no way for the solar panel to be like, I'm going to charge up this battery and fill up this battery, and then you can use that energy tomorrow on your fans. No way. If you get sun now, the fans are running now. Okay? So there's no battery. It's nice because it's a simpler setup, but the fans are only going to be running when your solar panel has light. Here's the other thing. And this so far, there, there are two drawbacks to this kit so far. The first is that um, the fans have to be so close together because there is like just very little cable. And I'll try to set it out here in a second and show you. The other thing that stinks is... Um, that this solar panel, when we like just kind of laid it out in the yard to test it and kind of see how much space we had to like mess with it, the solar panel has to be completely in full light, not filtered light like it's coming through like a big shade tree and not like this chunk of the solar panel is blocked by shade or by another obstruction or whatever. In our experience, if this solar panel is not getting 100% light, the fans will slow way down on their speed or they won't turn on at all. So when you're thinking about this kit, it can be really great. You can Frankenstein the fans and rewire them if you're willing to, like I said, play around with it a little bit. But the things that stink are there's no way to charge a battery. So shut the fans off, charge the battery for tomorrow when it's gonna be cloudy, that doesn't work. Sun now, fan now, that's it. There's no battery to charge. The other thing is this solar panel, which this is my hand, so I mean it's a good 14, 16 inches square. Um, the problem with the solar panel is that if it's not getting full direct sun on the entire panel, it does affect the ability of the fans to be running at full speed. It affects the effectiveness. So for us, um, you know, you guys have seen my chicken run. There is shade in certain parts of it, so we're having to figure out now 
do we want to try to use this in the chicken coop? Are we going to put it over in our greenhouse and just try to have air circulation going in one of our pop-up greenhouses? What are we going to do? So those are the observations. Now let me lay out the fans and show you kind of how much space you have to mess with, and then you'll see it in action. Okay, and really quick, I know this isn't ideal, but I didn't want it all across my floor. So you've got about two feet of cable before you hit the governor itself. Again, this, I mean, you can use it to crank up and down the, the levels of, of sun. I mean, for us... If it's hot enough for us to need to use solar power fans, you know, I'm going to have this thing pretty much cranked up to 100%. Here are the fan guards that you will put on. But as you can see, you've got cable here. And again, I'll put the dimensions down in the video description so you can see how long this cable is. But the single cable where all the fans are connected is fairly long. But then once it comes to splitting the fans, you've got probably less than 12 inches of cable. The way our coop is designed, I don't have three windows real close to each other like that. So we're trying to figure out what are we gonna do? Either we're gonna have one and we're gonna chop the other two off, which kind of doesn't make any sense. Or like I said, we may mount them in our greenhouse instead. But this is what you're dealing with. The final thing that I'll say before you see this in action, I do like the instructions. I do feel that the instructions, um, they're easy to understand. They give you tips about, okay, before you set it up, for example, have the governor turn fully on. Um, but again, just to be clear, your solar panel needs to have full sun. If it doesn't have full sun, the fans are either going to turn more slowly or they're not going to run at all. And remember, these are not air conditioners. They're not going to technically change the temperature of the air. They're just going to move air. Now, you can switch a fan so instead of blowing air in, it's sucking air out, depending on which way you have the blade spinning or which way you have the fan mounted, if that makes sense. So it's moving air, but it's not an air conditioner in and of itself. So it's not changing the air temp. So let's see what we decided to do. Woo! As you can hear and see, <laughs> we are in business. So we have the fans set up. So let me show you the full setup, what we noticed. I apologize. This is, it took longer than we thought. We had to kind of rig some stuff and kind of play with some different things. And it is really hot in the greenhouse. But man, these fans are making a huge difference. So the first thing you'll notice is the sound right now on my governor. I do have them all the way up full power. So remember, there's not a battery. So this is exactly how much sun the solar panel is getting right now. Now I can use my governor and I'm gonna pan you around here. So we're in my greenhouse, right, with the clear plastic. And then I do have a sun tarp over the greenhouse as well. But still, I mean, outside today in Texas, we're 96 degrees, so you know it's hotter than that in here. So what I'm gonna do is pan around. The cable that goes from the three fans, remember the cable I showed you, the wiring on the three fans is very, very short. So they have to stay pretty close together. I think this looks really cool. Um, so that cable, they, they couldn't spread out that far as far as the three fans. But now we're taking this all the way over, all the way over, all the way over. There's my governor, right? And the governor just governs. Do you want 100% of the power coming from the fan over here? Or do you want me to like control it a little bit? And then I have my solar panel out there in full sun. Now, the best I can, I'm going to try to show you, remember how we talked about this. Now, first of all, this solar panel gets really hot. Even with just a corner, did you hear how much they slowed down? So they're going to slow down a lot if your panel is not in full sun. Now, in the instructions, it did say it recommends that the solar panel be angled at a 45 degree angle. We're going to keep ours flat out there. It will live over there, but I'm going to keep it right there for right now, number one, because it's really hot. And number two because I wanna to talk to you a little bit more and now we won't have the noise. Now in theory, of course, this is designed to be outside. So I'm hoping that everything is weatherproof and waterproof. Um, this governor, this box does look like it was designed to be waterproof. I may wrap the heck out of it in saran wrap anyway, just to give it a little bit of extra protection. But what we're gonna do is have that right there. And then I have it in here with my greenhouse. Um, a couple of other things. You can choose if you want the fans, you know, depending on which way you mount them. See how slow they're going now? It's better than nothing, but it's not super great, especially if you live in Texas where it's going to be well over 100 um, here in June 2023. So we decided to go ahead and put the guards on them on either side of the fan, number one, so it won't tear up that screen but also just to kind of help protect the fans a little bit. They are zip tied to each other. And then they're also loosely zip tied to that screen, which is just a really thin, you know, like butterfly netting type material. Um, that way they're not gonna be flapping around as much. We don't want the fan to get, I don't know how it would get caught with that screen, but we went ahead and just mounted it on the inside and on the outside. And then you can see they're hanging like that. So we mounted them to each other and then to the hook that's right there or to that horizontal pole and then to the screen itself. 
We have the governor going through here, which like I said, this is a nice long cable and I appreciate that. Um, but again, remember there's no battery. So right now we really like this. We decided to have one fan. I'm gonna turn it up here in a second. I'm gonna move the solar panel. We have one fan blowing air out and two fans blowing air in. So we purposely did not mount them all in the same direction. The goal is, now remember, this isn't an air conditioning, right? It's only moving the same temperature air that you've got. It's not changing the temperature. It's helping with the circulation. So what we did is had them going both ways because our goal, as I try to back out of here gracefully, our goal is to try to get the hottest air out of here that we can. Now, what we're going to do is have this permanently mounted over there, like way out where there's unfortunately no shade at all, ever. Um, and so we should have this guy running whenever there's sun. These guys will be going full blast. We are going to turn the governor up and make sure that it's all away. Um, so my things right now is I would love to have longer cables on the fans. I would like the solar panel to be stronger so that it can handle a little bit of, you know, like, look at that. That's like, what, maybe 20, 25% covered and the power, the ability for them to, to get power went way down. A stronger solar panel. Um, there is an easy way for you to mount the solar panel, but we didn't need that. We did get all of the hardware that we needed for this. So overall, I really like this kit, you know, for the price, for what it is. It's a very simple kit because like I said, you're not dealing with a battery and you're not dealing with a whole bunch of other complicated things like I honestly did for my chicken coop a couple of years ago. Um, and I'll say right now, you know, if Anque is watching this or Alex, my guy, is watching this, I would be happy to test an upgraded version after you guys make the adjustments that you wanna make. I would love to have another one with my chicken coop, but we felt that it was gonna be a lot easier for us to just get this mounted here. Um, you can see we've got watermelon, cucumbers, all different kinds of flowers, pumpkins, all kinds of stuff in here, and this is gonna make a big difference. So for the price, I do think it is a fun little kit. Certainly, um, it is very user-friendly, very beginner-friendly, but it's not a perfect system. So if you've got questions or comments, drop them down below. Thanks so much for watching.